Okay, great. Welcome to the DEF CON 30 Homecoming 101 track. Well, it's, it's been like a very emotional year. How many people at the beginning of the year weren't sure if we were even gonna be here? Show of hands. <laughs> and it's really questionable. And uh, month after month, you know, it's been stress. And so being here and seeing my people is really awesome. So you're awesome. Just thought I'd say that. So for those of you who have not really been to a DEF CON or maybe only a DEF CON virtual and now, this is your first first timers, raise your hand. No shame. Holy shit. <laughs> sense you'd all be in this room at this time, so, so that works. Okay, so um, you won't get too many of the older uh, references, but that's fine. Um, I'll just kind of talk for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're going to pass it off to Melanie, uh, who runs our communications and press, and is sort of the conscious, consciousness of the, of the con. I don't know. <laughs> I, I lean on, on Mel for a lot of advice. And, uh, and then we're going to have this great panel with a uh, some new and long-time uh, DEF CON goons and attendees, and, uh, and then we're gonna go to the audience and ask some questions, and you answer your questions. So before we do that, um, there's a couple of cliche phrases around DEF CON I just wanna address. One is DEF CON is what you make of it. And this came about when a lot of people were complaining, hey, I didn't get this one specific experience that I wanted or I didn't meet this one person that I knew I was supposed to meet if I came, um, or I didn't get to hack the car, or whatever. And other people would say, no, well, I got to do that. Why didn't you get to do that? And it quickly turned into, there's a million ways to experience this conference. And unlike some other more corporate conferences, we don't have these pathways totally defined for you. It's not like you get on the track one, shake a hand with the executive and get the sales briefing. It's really up to you. And it can be very chaotic at some times, which causes some stress, but it's also super rewarding because it's like a choose your own adventure. We're in like this unlimited, massive multiplayer universe here. And everybody has had to go through what you're going to go through this year, trying to figure it out. And some people focus on the talks, some people sit down with their laptop, some people sit in lockpicking village for half a day and walk away with a new skill. And so don't feel that you missed out because it's impossible. Around DEF CON, I think three, I started hearing stories of stuff that were happening at the con that I was throwing that I didn't know was happening. And then I realized this is bigger than me and I have to be okay with not knowing everything that's going on. And that's kind of like, like, if you have children, that's kind of like letting go. <laughs> like, please tell me the stories, you know? Please send me the pictures of her first steps or whatever, because I'm not there, I, did, I missed it. But I'm still there. And that's what you're gonna hear at DEF CON a lot. Oh my God, did you see the cabanas flying through the air last night when the storm hit? Did you see the water raining in on the roof last night? I guess what I'm getting at is, I want you to go make your own path, and I want you to not feel bad if you didn't see everything. So that's sort of the, it is what you make of it. If you're very introverted, maybe take an attempt to maybe extrovert, but if you can't, that's okay, because probably a third of DEF CON is super introverted. And when we built the con, unintentionally, I'll take credit for it, but really it's an unintentional action, is um, we grew by word of mouth. We don't have a marketing budget, and so, Every year, based on people's experiences, they tell their friends. And it grew very organically. And so there's no attempt to like, target a market audience and get that market audience to attend. It is what it is through just organic word of mouth. And I think that's one of our greatest strengths um, because the people are here generally want to be here. We didn't mind trick them with some Facebook targeted ads or something. Um, and because of that, people are pretty passionate um, about what they're into or what they want to try to get out of it. Um, so that's just kind of how we got there, how we got here.